Welcome to East Coast Health Reviews. Today, we're reviewing a beer by Long Live Beer Works. This is their The All Seeing Eye. So it's a double IPA hopped with Simcoe, Citra, and Kohatu hops. 8.4% alcohol by volume. Can 10 2022 Today is 12 9 2022 So this beer is a couple months old. Uh, brewed in Rhode Island. Brewed in Providence, Rhode Island. Long live beer works. Naturally unfiltered. May contain sediment. Yeah. Uh, let's crack this open. I got my uh, new tilted barn glass. It's a brewery out of uh, Exeter, Rhode Island. Uh, really liking this glass. I had a beer out of it yesterday. And uh, super excited to pour up another one in it. So let's pour this up. Good looking hazy, a little bit on the darker side. Super uh, murky hazy, uh, dark brownish orange, um, some effervescence, frothy, creamy white head on top. I didn't pour it too aggressively. Uh, so I only got like a half a finger head here. Yeah, I guess it just doesn't produce much of a head. But yeah, super good looking beer. Like I said, it's kind of on your uh, murky, darker side. But looks really good, especially out of this uh, really cool hop glass. Hey, 10 bucks for this glass. Not bad. Nose? Bubblegum. Bubblegum peach. There's a slightly green vegetal note in this still I did have this beer super fresh I thought by now it would kind of uh, steer away from that kind of green vegetal note but it's definitely not offensive you just you still kind of get it so it still has that fresh green earthy other than that uh, peach Melon, kind of like uh, cantaloupe melon with this one, but yeah, de definitely very sweet. Like I said, bubble gum, pineapple, grapefruit, and uh, lemon. A little bit of um, some hop resin, a little biscuity bready. Sweet malts. Yeah, overall smells really good. Um, can't get over that bubblegum though. I really do like that. Yeah, smells really good. 8.4% alcohol by volume. Definitely not noticeable on the nose. Let's dive in. Cheers, guys. Oh, that bubblegum on the palate as well. Big punch of like... Trying to think of what kind of bubble gum it would be. Maybe like a double bubble, bubble gum. Something really sweet. Sweet malts. Really melony. Get a little bit of that vegetal green note. But there's no hot burn, but you still get that like green vegetal uh, finish. Slightly astringent. Definitely can't taste 8.4%. A little tangelo vibes, grapefruit, tangerine, super creamy mouthfeel, grapefruit again. This is this is really good. I like this. It still kind of has that green vegetal note that I could care less for. Um, to me personally, it kind of takes away from some of the other flavors in the beer. But it's not too overpowering. Uh, definitely developed into something a little bit more complex than when I first had the beer. When I first had it, it was a little bit too much. But yeah, super creamy body. No booziness. For 8.4, definitely very well hidden. Um, like I said, there's just a little bit of that uh, green vegetal note. Combinations 
I'd say carbonation's kind of on the lighter side. This is a, a little bit more of a filling double IPA, not a super drinkable crusher, but definitely a good beer. Yeah, this is uh, one of those double IPAs you kind of sit and sip on. Um, like I said, it's a little filling. I kind of wish it had a little bit more carbonation to it, but the flavor is top notch for sure. Definitely uh, really enjoy this one. I'm gonna do a little shake and pour. Maybe pick up some other flavors. Got the chunks in there. That's a that's a better looking head. Some uh, we got some floaties in there. Some sediment. And it's totally murked up, haze now. Definitely uh, very, very dark for a New England IPA. Every time that bubblegum note comes back. Yeah, bubblegum, peach, cantaloupe. Pretty much sums up this beer. With, like I said, a little bit of that, like, green, earthy. There's like a little bit of like an earthy earthy spicy component on the back end not overly spicy but there's a little bit of like some type of earthy spiciness number for this one from what I have in front of me um, it's two months old so I mean that vegetal note should have kind of uh, went away uh, but it's still kind of there not the biggest fan of it like I said before I'm gonna run this one at a uh, I'm gonna give it a 92 out of 100. Definitely worth the money. I think it was around, I wanna say 18 to 20 bucks for a four pack. Totally worth it. Um, I really enjoy Long Live Beer Works uh, double IPAs. They do a great job. If you like these super murky, hazy, cloudy New England IPAs, uh, if you ever visit Providence, Rhode Island, check out uh, Long Live Beer Works. Their brewery is really fun as well. I actually have uh, something on my community tab, some pictures from when I uh, visited there. Uh, hung out with Thomas Metal 75 uh, and uh, John and Dilly. Um, and if you can get it in your area, uh, grab a four pack for sure. Try it out yourself. Um, there hasn't been a double IPA that by them that I haven't enjoyed. Uh, they're all pretty dang good in my opinion. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Is there anything else that you guys like to see on my channel? Make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for my upcoming videos. Lick a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.